Hi, welcome to the Me and My Bass series. In this series I will bore you with some interesting facts about some of the basses or bass related audio related stuff I own. I will tell you how it purchase it and why. Further I will tell you my humble opinion about their playability and their sound. This time's up, a comparison between the Spector Rebob 4 from 2001 and the Spector SSD NS4994, that's one, from 1989. Not too long ago, I purchased this SSD NS94, uh, uh, which is of course a Spectre, as SSD stands for Stewart Spectre Designs. And today I like to compare it with my Spectre Rebob from 2001. I can tell you the whole story why this base is called SSD and not Spectre, but I already told that in the video of the SSD itself. And you can check that video right here <laughs> if you want anyway in 1989 on the verge of buying his own brand name back to inspector at this ns94 bases made in korea i assume by the same guys who also produced the korean line of specter bases uh, when under ownership of kramer uh, those last bases were outstanding as i read everywhere and i can't say this base is bad either uh, I can't say it's top of the line looking at it, but it's a great base under disguise. Uh, only three years later, Stuart Spector decided to move some of the production of certain models uh, to the Czech Republic, and that's where this uh, rebob comes from. Both both bases are not stock. The NS94 uh, has different tuners <laughs> than what's supposed to be on this base. Uh, like, and this is... Rome. And the Rebob is fitted with active pickups, which aren't stock either. Both feel great due to the brilliant curved design by no other than Ned Steinberger, of course. Uh, playing wise, they both play really good. Uh, there are only a couple of differences, of course. The NS94 uh, is neck through, uh, neck through the body, while the Rebob is a bolt on. While the body of the NS94 is completely maple, the Rebob is made from alder. Both have maple neck with rosewood fingerboard. The Rebob neck has been reinforced with graphic as well. Uh, the NS94 has active SSD pickups and the Rebob has an Aguilar OBP1 preamp. Okay, let's check them out uh, sound wise. Both have the tone controls in the middle and both pickups are on. The SSD has homemade active SSD pickups and the Rebob has EMGs so there will be some tonal differences I guess I know uh, but enough talking let's listen
signal flow from this clip was as usual the basis direct into my UD Apollo Twin which had an MPEG SVT simulation running on it. I used the ROC A preset. Uh, there you have it. Feel free to comment on both spectres. Maybe you think one sounds better than the other or looks better than the other. Well, they're both the same, I think, but whatever. Well, that's it for this episode. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Until next time. See you. Bye bye.